uh, a lot of times you want to check your stator and do the AC voltage test. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Remember, it's AC voltage. Uh, it's not going to be real high voltage unless you get your R's really high, but just be careful. Don't cross any wires or arc anything. Um, imagine this right here. This is bolted down on my table for hooking up regulators, but imagine this is just your three prong connector coming from your stator that plugs into your regulator. So I'm just gonna use this to show you uh, what happens when you check it. Remember, your voltmeter has gotta be on AC, alternating current, and I put it on the 200 volt meter instead of like a 20 volt meter because it can get up to you know 80, 90 volts. I've seen, I've seen 95 volts. So just, you know, Beware, don't put it at 20 because you're going to hurt your meter. So put it at 200 on AC and we'll do this check. Here we go. Okay, I'm going across two of the wires, okay, to get it. And we got 22, 22.8, okay. Now I'm going over to another one, right, because we're going to check all three. And we have 22.7. And now I'm going to move over and I'm going to check. Now this will be all three that I'm checking. Okay, 22.8. So this particular set of windings is great. That is really close. I'm going to go up a little higher just to show you what happens. So the same thing again. I'm going to start the first one I did. Now we got 25.7, uh, 25.8. Next one. 25, 6, 7, okay. And I'm gonna move over so I can check my third one. And we got 25, 8. Okay, and that was bringing, the, bringing it up a little bit. Okay, that means this, these three windings in this particular stator are really close and really nice. There's gonna be a little difference, that's why I had like 0.1 difference, but you might have a little more, not much. You shouldn't have much difference between them because they should be pretty close. But that's how you check your, uh, AC windings is by doing it. Make sure it's on AC. If you have one, if you know, if you have one that's showing 25.8 and another one 25.7 and one that shows 19.8, okay, it's just not balanced very well. It's probably working and charging, but it's not perfect. Okay, so just know that if you get if all your windings are very close together and they go up when you turn, you know, you rev your motor up a little bit and say bring the idle up a little bit higher and check them again and they all come up good, they're probably in good shape as far as that. Again, it doesn't say that your stator is not weak in one way or another. Like I said earlier in the video, it could be putting out volts just fine, but just not enough power, just not enough push, you know, to uh, charge the battery and do all your electrical. So anyway, that's just another check people have asked me about and so I thought I'd show you. Okay, hope this helped. Again, thanks. JackRoadsRecycle.com. Bye.